the pain like I'm Nagato. Got no father like I'm Naruto. Keep the blade on me, Ichigo. Who really wanna go toe for toe? DTR from Tokyo. Diamonds flipping up on the stove. Lucky man like a four leaf glow. Diamonds wanna go. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nagato, and for today's tutorial, I'm basically going to be showcasing on how to install Multi-Man File Manager onto your modded PlayStation 3. I'm not too sure if this process worked with Han PS3s yet, but if you guys do know, leave a comment in this uh in the description or not excuse me not in the description but in the comment section below and i'll take a look at that and update this tutorial as well but with that being said i'm going to get stated or i'm going to start on the prerequisites what you need for this process is a jailbroken playstation 3 i'm currently using rebug 4.84 kex um slim on my ps3 slim excuse me and also what you need for this process is a usb drive that is formatted to fat32 and of course you'll need the latest version of multi-man the unfortunately the latest version of multi-man is 4.82 at the moment and it corresponds with like the um, rebug or anytime a new jailbreak gets released or for the highest firmware but as of right now 4.82 is the latest version and it does work on 4.84 firmware but um, with that being said and getting all the prerequisites stated out the way, I'm going to go ahead and plug in my USB drive right here into the PC, which you guys should do as well. And now what you want to do is go ahead and find your USB onto your desktop. This is mine's right here. And then what you want to do now, guys, is go ahead and right click over your USB drive, go to properties, and then see if your USB drive is stated to be on FAT32. If your thing is not on FAT32, don't worry, I'm gonna show you guys on how to change it right now. What you wanna do is go ahead and right click over your USB drive, go to properties, or excuse me, not properties, you wanna go to format, and then once you go to format, you should basically see your file system. Go ahead and click on this option right here. And if your thing states that it's on NTFS or XFAT, just go ahead and click FAT32. For your allocation unit size as well, basically go ahead and hit default allocation unit size or whatever your PC states. And then what you wanna do from here, you can leave your volume label the same. Go ahead and hit quick format. And then once you basically hit quick format, go ahead and hit start. And then you'll get this little warning right here stating that if you click on K, it's basically going to erase all of your information on your flash drive. So if you do have important files or any items on it, go ahead and back it up to another USB drive or go ahead and just basically put it onto your PC. But assuming if once you guys hit OK, you're on FAT32, what you need to do now is go ahead and go on to take this multi-man PKG file and then put it onto the root of your USB drive. And then it shouldn't take too long but once that process is done what you want to go to now is go to basically to your ps3 plug in your usb drive and i'll meet you guys today on how to install this package file and i'll explain a little bit more about multi-man itself so i'll meet you guys back onto the ps3 all right guys as shown here you should basically see my ps3 right on the front of the screen right now what you want to do is make sure your usb is of course connected to your ps3 go into your xmb and go under under to the games column excuse me and then go to package manager go to install package files go to standard and then you should see multi-man right here go ahead and install it it may take a little while uh, for this thing to install and now what you want to do guys is basically once that process is done, boot up Multi-Man. So I'll show you guys right here in a second. All right, as shown here, guys, you basically, once you boot into Multi-Man, as you see here, it may ask you some like terms of service questions. Just go ahead and hit yes on all four of them. And then what you wanna do now, basically it's installing Multi-Man uh, data onto the hard drive. And then it's going to apply the standard theme and you can also add custom themes to multi-man as well i'll probably do a little uh tutorial on how to do that as well for multi-man but with that being stated this is multi-man itself it's very similar to the xmb um let me go ahead and if i could find to turn off this music real quick so i could explain a little bit more about uh, multi-man so basically what multi-man is it allows you to copy games it allows you to look into your ps3 file browser and manager as well so if i go to the ps3 root you get to see all your directories if you wanted to basically dump games into you know your iso folder you can and there's a lot of stuff you could do with multi-man but i'm just gonna go and do it like a little general walkthrough um if you toggle r1 to 
you could basically start up games and stuff um if you wanted to go ahead and rename games you could do it from here as well you could copy you could delete you could also change game images you could boot games from your disk you could also create isos um but with that being said this is basically uh how you install multi-man onto your playstation 3. if you guys do have any questions that you if you just did enjoy this video make sure to leave a like in the description or not in the description a like on this video um but with that being said be sure to subscribe for more daily content just like this but what i'm gonna be doing is signing out thank you guys